Every good story has a main character, and on the Sea of Thieves, every pirate believes they are the main character of their own journey. The truth is, there's really only one main character on the Sea of Thieves, and that's Tumblin' Tom. A charismatic, well-fed pirate, thirsty for not just adventure, but a lot of grog. Tumblin' Tom reeks of main character energy, and at the beginning of our story today, is at an all-time low in his pirating career. This is the first time in a month him and his first mate, Madeline, had gotten back on the seas. Today, their adventure began at Devil's Ridge, where they were searching for the first of two pieces to the chest of the Siren Skull, a skull that, once claimed, would be delivered to Captain Briggsy. Before searching for that chest or key, though, Tumblin' Tom started out today with a dark reminder of his past. Floating in the water of Devil's Ridge was a trident that haunted him. He'd previously used the trident to single-handedly eliminate and sink a full, white sail open crew galleon. He was still haunted by the sounds of the charging up trident in his nightmares, only to be followed by the screams of the poor pirates he had slayed. Being back on the seas was tough for him. He had seen himself become a monster before, and now he was a shell of his former self. Haunted by his ghosts, literally and figuratively, Tumblin' Tom and Madeline searched around Devil's Ridge and retrieved the key to the chest of the Siren Song. While Madeline waited in the getaway rowboat, Tumblin' Tom fought off a wave of vicious skellies. Once back to the ship, this duo had now set course for Fool's Lagoon to get the chest of Siren Song. With the key on board, their ship was now visible to other crews participating in the voyage, meaning from here on out, things could be a bit dangerous. There was also a fort of the damned active, so danger was definitely a muck. Tumblin' Tom wasn't worried about danger though. Still weighed down by the regrets of his past, he needed to soothe himself the only way he knew how. Grog. Lots of grog. And then, lots of grog to see shanties. He took out his anger on Madeline as well. Just like every main character in a story, this was his low point. But now, it was time for a comeback of epic proportions. A moment of awakening. A huge success. Stage left, a skeleton sloop emerges from the water. His first fight since being back on the seas, and Tumblin' Tom had decided to make a vow. A vow to never fire at a ship or cause harm to a pirate ever again. The skelly ship, who was not in on the vow, did fire back an anchor ball that narrowly missed. Tumblin' Tom's peaceful approach seemed to work, as Madeline was able to simply wind their ship through a few rocks to lose the skeleton sloop. For now. The crew arrived to Pool's Lagoon, where they fought off some ocean crawlers and skellies before digging up the siren song chest. Danger, just as predicted, was lurking though, and Tumblin' Tom and Madeline were both invested in digging up a bit more treasure on the island. As the white-sailed sloop off in the distance got closer, it seemed like perhaps Tumblin' Tom was about to get their ship going. But instead, they spent time opening up the Siren Song chest, which was just going to make their ship slower in a possible chase scenario. Just as it seemed like things were about to take a turn, Tumblin' Tom's plot armor, as the main character, kicked in, and the skeleton sloop that they had dodged and taken a peaceful approach with previously had now caught up to them. But this time, it fired an anchor ball at the white-sailed sloop, stopping it in its tracks. This warning shot made Tumblin' Tom aware of the incoming sloop, and they took off, leaving the skeleton sloop behind them to serve as a bodyguard of sorts, hammering the white-sailed sloop so that it would never come back. Tumblin' Tom's peaceful approach against the skeleton ship earlier definitely paid off big time. He was in great spirits. They sailed on over to Shipwreck Bay for their final task, to deliver the siren skull to Captain Briggsy at last. Just moments before getting to the island, a brigantine had sailed on by meaning an enemy or two may be tucked away on the island, awaiting to steal the siren skull for themselves. It was time to deliver.
people you fought to fend off other crews and win the prize. Now, take your payment. It's very richly deserved. I'm leaving before this place is overrun. I hate crowds. Unless it's bad of mine. <laughs> you keep an eye out for more notes from me. There may well be other skulls of Siren Song to be located. I'll make a rogue's apprentice of you yet. Farewell. Tumblin' Tom was quite pleased. He just pulled off his first successful mission in months and did so without having to kill or harm any other pirates on his own. Because they had picked up a little bit of loot and treasure on their journey, they then headed off to Reaper's Hideout to sell, and Tumblr and Tom remembered how much fun there is to be had on the Sea of Thieves. You can accomplish so much without having to unleash your inner monster. If you're good to others, just like they were to the Skeleton Sloop, the seas will be kind. As they approached Reaper's Hideout, a sloop came into view. This was the sloop that had just completed the Fort of the Damned that was previously active. Tumble and Tom didn't want to startle the sloop, who had been parked for about a minute at Reaper's Hideout, so he launched his pet cat to announce himself. This announcement scared away the sloop, who sailed right on by without any bullets or iron exchanged. At the start of the day, Tumble and Tom was the type of pirate you'd likely bet against. Struck by his past, a fear of tridents, a fan of the grog, how is this guy gonna get anything done? But in just a short amount of time, he was able to show growth take on a peaceful, loving approach to piracy that in the end got him and Madeline the gold, and maybe even won over some skeleton friends. Tumblin' Tom is the rootable underdog, and clearly the type of pirate who is the main character in the story of the Sea of Thieves.